color do you think we're gonna we're gonna have down here? Let me show you. We we don't always see eye to eye on um, color schemes, but it would be helpful if I could see her vision. I love you, dear. Hello YouTubes! Welcome back to the channel. I'm sitting in my nice primed 1968 Playmore that we have been renovating, restoring, rehabbing, whatever you want to call it, these last few months. And last week we got all this primer taken care of and in place. Uh, oh Lord, I don't want to do that again. <laughs> and that means this week we're going to put some actual paint on these walls. We will be using this uh, Valspar, let's see, what color is this? I'm not sure, we might have matched this to something. I, I don't really 100% remember, but uh, it's actually the same color we've been painting on our house. Most of the time when we do these things where we paint color on something, I start with something light and then we wind up painting over it, which is easier to do than if you start with something dark. So we're gonna start with this, put a coat on and um, see what we think. I don't know if I've ever mentioned it, but I actually have a uh, art degree in painting. Uh, you know, one thing about color is the um, other colors that are around it are going to affect how you view that color. So put this white up here and it'll probably look very yellow because you're still looking at it next to this very, very white primer. So once the primer has been covered up with all these other colors, I think it will not seem as warm as it is, but ultimately Catherine will be the judge on that. You know, we, we don't always see eye to eye on um, color schemes, but she is pretty much without exception always right in the end. So it would be helpful if I could see her vision. I love you, dear. But yeah, painting this white and then covering it over if we think it's off a little bit is not really that big a deal. But hey, you get extra content extra painting content, extra time watching paint dry. So what we're thinking, this wall over here is actually going to be a different color from the ceiling and from this wall over here. What those colors are, I'm going to um, uh, make you wait on that because uh, we don't have them yet. <laughs> Catherine's got them picked out though, so it's not that we don't know what they're going to be, but I'm going to make you wait. So anyway, let's get started on this. I was down and out and nothing seemed to come my way Here I go, here I go, this time I let it go I never listen to what others say So come and see, no matter what I do Head first into this hurricane Yes I know, yes I know, head high, let it go But it hits me like a pouring It's a little off of what Catherine had on her uh, sort of reference image. So we're going to maybe go to the store and pick up those other colors and then see how it looks with this color. <laughs> if uh, we cut to the next scene and I'm uh, painting this a different color, that's why. Okay, you might say, hey, didn't you just paint that? the same color as the ceiling, and yes I did. And then um, we changed our mind about it. So instead of painting this back wall pink, I'm just going to paint the cabinet pink, and then this back wall is going to be the same white as the rest of it, which is also going to be this color of white, and not the color of white that I painted it yesterday. So but I think that's a nice color. I, I like it, and I think the white and the pink is going to contrast very nicely, 
against our lower cabinets. I do think it's going to be kind of hard to see what's happening until the doors are back on here. So uh, I think I'm going to go back in and do a second coat on the doors and then we'll work on the ceiling. Okay, so after kind of looking at this and thinking about it for a minute, I think what we're going to do is, uh, this is going to be pink, and we're going to do this back wall in our polar bear white. We might leave the top in the little bit creamier color, because we do kind of like the way that looks against there. So I'm going to put this on, and see what we think. Was all alone on a one-way track Nothing ahead and there was no way back So I tried, yes I tried You can go run and hide When your wall begins to crack It's pretty clear when we're standing here So what am I supposed to do? I'm at ease, baby, please let go Have no fear, cause I'm head over heels with you Okay, so, uh, ball color on, the upper cabinet's done, the ceiling's done, now we gotta do this lower part. But real quick, one thing, I see a lot of people say, how, how much paint should I get to, you know, paint a camper? Well, I mean, it's gonna vary a lot. But uh, for this, uh, the white that I did on the two walls, see how much is left in there? Not a whole lot, so that was a quart. A lot of times, you know, you're like, well, I don't really want to buy too much paint. So you just buy a quart, and a quart is a half the cost of a gallon. You know, if I was, if, if I had decided to do the, redo the roof in the same white as the walls, I would have needed uh, at least another quart to do that. Well, a quart is half the cost of a gallon, and a gallon is four quarts, so uh, you know, at that point, you might as well be buying a gallon and just, you know, keep the extra. You might need it at some point. Little bitty camper with broken up spaces like this, you can probably just buy quart cans and save a little money. But uh, if you're going to go over a quart, you're better off buying a gallon. Uh, for the bottom cabinets, we're going with an oil-based paint because they are the cabinets that are going to get kicked. Uh, they're going to get set, up, set on. They're going to get little tiny cars rolled all across them. So it needs to have a little dur more durable finish and the oil base is generally a more durable finish. It does mean it's gonna take a lot longer to dry. So <laughs> that's why I've done all the rest and, and now I'm doing the bottom part. Plus also, you know, any drips that are gonna fall down are gonna fall on your, your lower section. So do that last. The other question I've seen a lot crop up in forums uh, can you paint welting? And I didn't know how well it would work, but it seems to work okay. So yes, you can paint welting. Uh, if you can't buy it in a color that you like, you can paint it. So what what color do you think we're gonna we're gonna have down here? Let me show you. Dang that light! There you go. I'll do it half in the light so you can kind of get a sense of it. This is f called fig leaf, and I think it's gonna look really nice. I know what you're thinking. Wait, did you just paint the interior camper the same color as outside? No, it is very slightly different. It's my camper, so I can do whatever I want with it. So anyway, I'm going to stir up my paint here, and I'm going to start somewhere where I'm not going to be bumping into it. Maybe I'll start there. I don't know how I'm doing. I'm going to make it up as I go. There it is. 
some dark green. We will uh, let this dry uh, for at least 24 hours and then we will uh, come back and probably do another coat on it because there's a few spots I can see that are a little thin. Um, so I'm going to uh, cap this off and take a break. But I'm excited. <music> You go, you're on camera. Can you say hi? Hi. <laughs> yeah, you can't see it back there. Come back over here. No, come back over here. See? There. There you go. Oh. All right, well, it's been a few days, and I think our drawers and cabinets are dried down enough that the uh, surface is hard enough that they can be handled. So I'm gonna put the drawer faces and the uh, doors back on. It's pretty exciting. Get to it. My hair looks a little funky. Yeah. Hey. actually called polar bear. The green on our cabinets is called uh, fig tree and the uh, kind of pinky peach on the top is called... <laughs> the one on the top is called one to remember as I unfortunately can't remember it. Uh, this is not our actual cushion in the back and our actual cushion is not going to be that color. We're also not going to use the same color as our headboard in the front. 
so, you know, our cushion colors are definitely going to be a little different still, and hopefully we'll uh, continue to tie all these together. But uh, anyway, yeah, I, I really like these colors. I think they go very nicely together. I'm really happy with those. We still have several little things to do just uh, here and there. Uh, but yeah, thanks to everybody for following along. And, uh, you know, make sure and like and subscribe. And new videos come out every Sunday, so I'll see you then.